It happened to a girl who went for confession and she knelt there and said, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And the priest said, Yes, tell me, daughter, tell me. And immediately said, Father, I committed a sin against vanity. And twice a week or twice a day, I go before the mirror and I say, I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I look beautiful. And twice a day I do this, Father. And the priest got up, looked at her, looked at her up and down. And then she said, I have good news. This is not a sin, but it is a mistake. My dear brothers and sisters, many of us consider that we are right. And we think that we are always right. So much so, the feeling of being right overpowers us and we overrule on everyone else. For example, for the many of us, it is difficult to walk into the church even if it is our own parish. We enter and we look at the tabernacle. Perhaps the thought comes to our mind. God is looking at me. How does he look at me this week? Well, am I really worth being looked? God is looking at me. How does he look at me this week? Am I better? Am I worse this week? And some of us who have gone away from the church, maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months, maybe a year, Maybe we need to talk to God and say about our absence. Why we are absent. Sometimes it is scary when we come inside the church to look at the tabernacle. Sometimes we want to join like the tax collector who stood very far away and said, Lord, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. My dear brothers and sisters, I told in the beginning of the Mass that all of you should come close to the Lord. There are empty benches here. Well, very often as a parish priest we feel it bad to say the do's and the don'ts every time. But all the more, there are reasons for this. First of all, I don't want people to be confronted with the do's and the don'ts as soon as they walk inside the church. Second, it may be an emergency or it may be the need of health conditions that you like to sit behind or there are various reasons that you sit behind or sit close to the window or close to the door. A doctor will be always close to the door because he may get an emergency call. Some of us in business line will be waiting when our phones are going to vibrate. So we sit at the very close to the door. Some of us least bothered, wherever we want to sit, we will sit. And that is the reason why we see, we always desire all of you sit close to the altar. But a man came and said, Father, you're telling us to come close to the altar. It was so difficult for me to enter inside the door of the church. After so many years, I have come back to the church and you tell me to come close to the Lord. And I find it difficult. And it, it's not easy for me to come inside very close to the Lord. When you say this, after I coming, after so many years, I left the Catholic Church, but today I come, I'm offended. He gets really offended. Today, it's not the place that is important. Today, it's the heart that is important. A heart like the tax collector. Wherever you sit, whatever you are, you have to give your heart to the Lord. Because for some of us it is difficult to walk into the church. Are there other people looking at me? Maybe people here have seen my worst part and therefore it's very hard to deny the fact of all the stories that they speak about me. 
there are some people here with genuine faith and i come with ordinary faith do i belong to this community do not do i belong to this church each one of us have different reasons but we all belong to that one body of christ and you see in spite of all this difference is sitting here sitting there coming with this situation in our life the lord wants you to be there therefore your heart is important for some of us it is difficult to walk inside the church because we fear that we are joining some of the holy people and maybe i'll become holy maybe i have to give up maybe i have to surrender and therefore it is difficult for some of you to come inside the church today's gospel reading tells us that there were two people the pharisee and a tax collector who went into the temple to pray one took a prominent place the other one took the back benches the one who took the prominent place looked down on everyone in the temple when we come inside the church my dear friend we should not look down at anyone i am equal to you therefore what i have come with my situation of my life i am equal to you therefore i cannot look down on you like the pharisee you said look at that tax collector that as i am so righteous i do this i do that he went on putting a list before god but that tax collector i tell you reconciled himself and said lord have mercy on me for i am a sinner today my dear friends when you enter into the church you should always feel this is a community that is saved by god this is a community that receives the mercy of god and therefore i enter into this church to receive that same mercy that is the heart that i will enter into therefore god who sees into our heart knows that he is ready to give you all that you need because the tax collector came maybe for a purpose he must have had a big list to ask the lord but before that he said have mercy on me i am a sinner for us my dear friends catholicism is not with a guilt it is not concerned with mercy people are continually telling us or even priests keep on telling us you are a sinner you know we give wonderful talks on sin but we are very poor in giving a talk on mercy because sin in a way we like to tell you to look down on you but rather the mercy of god will always encourage you for today's parable the tax collector and the pharisee leads us to a pilgrim prayer what is the pilgrim prayer the pilgrim prayer that we see that the tax collector uses is beating his breast he says god be merciful to me a sinner and therefore every time you enter into the church this pilgrim journey that we are on that we may enter into the church and say lord be merciful to me i am a sinner that makes you righteous with god but if you come like a tax collector and say lord i did this i did that i did this and then you are becoming self righteous and therefore you can't make yourself equal to god today we know pride rules us we are so proud about so many things in life but god says be humble if you are humble you will be exalted if you are proud you will have your fall because we know pride goes before a fall and that is the reason why you and i when we come into the church 
when we come into people's life, when we come into a community, we know that the mercy of God is awaiting for us. And that is why I come with a simple mind, with a contrite heart, asking the Lord to do the rest for me. Amen. Let us all